In case anyone is wondering how I made this or, you know, needs to make anything similar um, or maybe even put it to use for something larger, I don't know. Um, I originally started with foam and covered it in thermoplastic, but I couldn't get it very perfect. I was trying to just use things I had uh, for these auctions because I've already spent quite a bit on them. But um, when I was in the store looking for fabrics I needed um, for the Fox, uh, I remembered that I love using the these flexible mirrors. So I've used these before, like on the Star Princess crown and um, other projects. And basically, it's it's flexible mirror, so you can literally cut it and bend it, although it does like to stay straight, so bending it like this, I had to um, see the little areas here on the, the hilt. Um, I did have to, like, bend them and crimp them overnight and made sure that they were very, very secure. So it works best when you're dealing with a flat surface. And to get, like, the, the blade the way it was, angled, what I did was um, I have a flat piece of the mirror that I cut, and then I cut this a similar piece, almost exact, and um, scored it down the middle so it wasn't all the way cut through, and bent it just slightly enough to where it wouldn't break apart because there's kind of a paper backing almost that it's stuck to, and. Um, after that, to make it stay raised, I'm not sure if it can be seen here, it is a little bit raised there. So to do that, um, I just set a piece of wire down and glued that together. And then I held um, the two parts, the flat part and this part, uh, overnight with glue and like clamped it all down so it was nice. I left a little extra. Um, so that it could go up into the hilt there. And I showed the I showed the hilt before, um, unfinished, and that still is, um, I just cut it off of the the old sword because I didn't want to do, do it again. I spent a lot of time um, using a Dremel. I uh, shaped foam, um, L200, and uh, after that I covered it in thermoplastic. I primed it, I painted it, uh, and then I added, it's probably hard to see, Let's see if I can, that's not going to work. Okay, well, there's a swirl, kind of a, a black and silver swirl that goes on in there. I did that all around before I started adding decorations on here. And then the, um, like the cage area, it's not exactly like the, the swords of the pictures I was looking at. But I had to simplify it because it was just too complicated for something this small and something where it's not very bendable. Um, I did cheat and use some of the thermoplastic for, um, you know, the handle here. And then I used the mirrored pieces. And um, something important when working with this mirror, it comes with a, a film over it that you can peel off. I don't peel that off until the until I'm completely done, if at all possible, because it's very easy to get glue on stuff and actually it can't really be seen here but I have a little bit of glue that got on the blade there um, so the best thing is to as tempting as it is to peel it off because it's beautiful uh, when it's off um, don't peel it off until you're done and I had a lot of glue going on for here so I had these these curved pieces that I put on and they're having trouble staying on so I wrapped them in wire after I super glued them to the hilt and that didn't look as pretty, so I wrapped that in like almost like very, very thin, very narrow electrical tape to have some black in there too against the silver. And that also was like something I needed, felt like I needed to cover up. Because uh, sometimes when you're making things, um, which is great about costumes, if you don't like how it looks, you can just keep covering it up with more trim or more accessories, and it looks like you just worked harder. Um, but I, so I took some of the metal filigree that I have for jewelry making and actually my camera does not like to focus close up. My one criticism, Google, my one criticism. We'll zoom in and we'll see. Okay. So these little like leafy pieces, um, I, they're bead caps. So they can like go around round beads including the top here, this little filigree piece. 
So I just, they're flexible too. All of these are little bead caps. So you can um, decorate the end of a bead, a round bead, and it kind of like goes over the end of it uh, just to make the bead more decorative. But, um, you know, I, I have spare ones lying around because they come in, you know, a, a little pouch. So you, I had a lot of extras. And a lot of times when I'm doing something like this, just gluing like extra filigree on something makes it look really nice. So, um, yeah, it's it's kind of, it's not like the cleanest, you know, work, but, um, it did turn out good. Uh, again, it's just for, this is just an accessory. I spent way too much time on it already, but I was kind of intrigued. You know, I've never really like, even though it's a miniature and it's not like functional or anything, I've never made a sword before and really wanted to kind of figure out how that could be done in a craft type of way. So, um, it's good enough for the purposes. This is just an accessory, you know, um, so you can see it's, uh, not hundred percent perfect, but it's still pretty cool from far away and it's going to look really neat with the Fox. So my, uh, little Jamie Fox, as I'm calling it. So, um, yeah, this is turned into like more of a passion project of something fun to do. Uh, I have no idea if people are going to really like bid a lot on this. I hope they do because this uh, Outlander Fox, I spent a lot of time on. Uh, if you're following it, you know. You know how much time I spent on this um, and money, too. Uh, I tried to keep it economical, but um, this might be my favorite part of it, as silly as that is. But it's just really cool, and I'm really proud of how that turned out. So if hopefully that might give anyone some ideas if you're making a prop or even like a dagger or something, um, because sometimes metallic paint just, it doesn't do the same thing that like shiny metal, it, it can't always make it look like shiny metal. And I found this flexible mirror, uh, really, really looks nice like steel. Um, and I've just, I've used it in so many projects. So I get it at the craft store. Uh, it's, at Joann's it's usually near like the doll stuff and the sequins and there's little like um mosaic mirror type things there and you'll see just a sheet and it looks very dull because the film's over it that protective film um so it's not going to look like it's a very reflective surface but when you peel that film off this is what you get so great material to work with another great use for it 